Greetings Mr. Elijah. In this video we are tackling um, everything related to Ohm's law. Ohm's law. Okay. When we speaking about Ohm's law, we are going to come now to circuits and um, you know electric circuits and everything. Okay. First of all, um, what is Ohm's law? You know what I'm saying? What does it actually stand for? You know? Okay. Cool. Ohm's law relates current current um, is is um intro, is actually written as I equals to V which is potential difference of voltage divided by R right okay we know that I is current and current has got units of amps right here and then V right is the voltage it has got units of volts right and then r is the resistance a resistance it has got units of ohms right um but the symbol we use is this right here you know and also if when when you are given numbers you know what i'm saying um you can find if you if you've got two um 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 values right in this equation you can find the other one right um i don't know how the school teaches it however um let's say you want current this is the formula that you're gonna use to find current you know what i'm saying okay cool okay basically what this formula is saying is um the amount of current right the amount of electric current that passes through right a conductor at a constant temperature at a constant temperature remember that right is directly proportional right to the voltage now what directly proportional means is um when current increases voltage increases when voltage increases current increases or when current decreases voltage decreases also that is basically what it means right and then current also is inversely proportional to the resistance you know what i'm saying so basically when resistance increases right current is gonna decrease right and um when resistance decreases current is gonna um, um, um increase you know what i'm saying so i just want to um to just picture yourself in a marathon you are running right there you know what i'm saying and then as you are running let's say you are i don't know running at 10 kilometers per hour this is just a side note right this is just a side example i don't know the speeds or whatever okay cool let's say you are running right here you know and uh, let's say there is no resistance now right and then when you come to the first line someone gives you 20 bags with you you know what i'm saying so as you are running further now you're gonna see that your speed is gonna decrease you know what i'm saying because of what you have because of these bags so in this case let's take your speed as current and let's take the bags as a resistance right so the more amount of bags you have the more your speed is going to decrease so if the bags increases the speed is going to decrease right so this is what it means right here okay and also uh, mr elijah if you are let's say for example um okay this is current this is how you actually calculate current but now let's say you want to calculate the resistance right resistance Okay, let me just do it for you right here. So current is equals to V over R. So now let's say you want to calculate this. How you're going to calculate this is, okay, you can multiply it by R. It's going to be I times R is equals to V. Then you divide by I. So you're going to get R is equals to V over I. You know what I'm saying? This is the formula for calculating R. And then if you want to calculate V, um, v is going to equals to this is the v so it's going to be r times i so it's going to be i r you know but i'm aware that you've got that triangle thing that you guys um are used to so um use whichever one is going to be suitable for you but this is how you calculate v and this is how you calculate r and also depending on different schools some teachers might advise that 
just put your values and then after work the variable that you want and you know others might advise you to you know rearrange the formula and then put your values you know and the units now are very much important right let me just make an example um let's say that you are given okay let me take grab another paper let's say um um put this right here okay cool 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 let's say that you are given that um um the current is equals to 4a and then you are given that v is equals to 3 volts right here right or you can just put a v 3v and then they ask you to find resistance you know so how you're gonna find resistance is that let's just put everything in the formula um so i is equals to 4 okay you're using this formula right okay you're finding resistance i is equals to v over r okay so i is equals to 4a which equals to what is v v is 3 divided by r so now to find r so it's 3v divided by r to find r you're gonna multiply it by r everywhere so it's gonna be r um times 4 amps is equals to 3v so r will equals to okay sorry about that r will equals to um 3v divided by 4a and then um okay you can put this in your calculator if you use calculator whatever value you get then this will be in ohms now you know what i'm saying and let's say you are given okay this is one this is two let's say you are given that um, 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 um resistance is three ohms and then um um current is equals to eight amps right here yeah so they want they tell you to find v so v um okay cool so v right here is gonna equals to i r right so it's gonna be eight multiplied by three this equals eight times three it's 24 okay eight times three is 24 um v right this will be your 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 potential difference or your volt right here then lastly i think my battery is being is low or something okay fine so i trust you can still see what i'm writing three La the last part is let's say now they ask you to find um current all right they ask you to find current so you know that your v they say v is equals to four um volt and then your resistance is equals to i don't know two um right here so current is equals to v over r this equals to four over two right so you can put your units um you know you're not gonna be funny there so four over two is two um so that's how you find these things all right mr elijah stay blessed